Hey there everyone, welcome to the very first video from With The Green Woodworking. My name is Austin and today I'm going to show you how to build this planter set with Trey. Makes a very cool display on a coffee table. I will show you at the end of this what it looks like with plants in it. But these are removable, they can come out, you can switch them whatever order you would prefer to look at them. Um, you can change up this order here on the, uh, the boards as well, depending on how you'd like it to look. So I used walnut and oak in this project, but you can use any woods, um, whatever you like the look of the best, hardwood, softwood, anything really works. Um, it's a fairly straightforward build, so let's get to it. I'm gonna start by running all of these boards through my planer just to get them cleaned up on both faces. Next, I'm using my jointing sled here at the table saw to get a straight edge along one side of the boards. With that done, I can run the boards up against my table saw fence to clean up the other side. All right, with flat boards and straight edges, we're at the crosscut sled, getting the boards down to size, now running them back through the table saw to get strips that are the correct width for our planters. And now, cutting them to their final length, we'll have square pieces here, about three and a half inches each direction. This is the oak board, doing the same process that we did with the walnut. Now that we have all of our pieces cut out, we can go ahead and get them assembled and ready for glue up. I'm pretty sure that somebody once said you can never have enough clamps. Now that we have our cubes glued up and dried, we're running them through the table saw at a 15 degree angle to get that beveled edge that we're looking for. After finding the center of each one of these blocks, I'm using a two inch Forstner bit to remove the material for the plants. The planters are going to be recessed into the walnut board in the tray, and so now I'm here with the jigsaw after drilling a pilot hole, cutting out holes for each of the planters. tough to be perfectly accurate with the jigsaw, so I'm cleaning everything up here with a straight edge and a chisel. And then sanding. Lots of sanding. Now that everything's cleaned up and pretty, we can go ahead and glue up our walnut and oak pieces for the tray. The goal here was to get the pieces glued up, but not have any glue squeeze out into the holes because that would be extremely difficult to get cleaned up. Now we're back at the crosscut sled, just cleaning up the edges of the tray. Barely removing any material here. What's a succulent? 
It's a, it's a little plant, a little cactus, a little, a little other plant. You'll see. This is my makeshift router table. Got a 45 degree chamfer bit in the router and I'm running both sides of the tray along that to create that beveled edge. Outside here in the backyard, I'm adding a couple coats of spray lacquer to the whole project. Okay, as you can see here, I have some epoxy resin and some epoxy hardener. And since these planters have ready-made holes in them, I will just go ahead and put a little of each one in there, get them mixed up and paint up the sides as well as making sure the bottom is completely covered. That will give us a water seal so that uh, when you go to water the plants in the planters, we won't have to worry about the water getting in the wood causing any sort of damage over time. All right guys, there you have it. Pretty simple project to build three different planters and included tray. Please drop a like down below if you enjoyed this video and subscribe. I will have more content coming. I've got lots of projects in the works right now. I'm hoping to have videos out every couple of weeks. Again, my name is Austin. With The Grain Woodworking is the channel. I appreciate you watching. Have a great day.